Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video series I am going to show you how to make a Python web crawler. Now I actually made this because a few weeks ago I was trying to make a sitemap for my website and if you guys don't know what a sitemap is it's basically all the links or all the pages on your website so you need to make a program to crawl your entire site and gather up all the links and I was searching online for a free one and there aren't a lot of good free ones they all like are limited to like 50 pages or something and then I was like alright I'm just gonna buy one and all the ones that you can buy are like a hundred bucks a year and I'm like I'm not gonna pay a hundred bucks a year for a little bot that's gonna take like 10 minutes to run so that was my first motivation but I was lazy and I didn't do it I'm like and eh, then I gotta like program this crawler and then a few days ago I was looking through my website and I was like, you know what? What would be really cool is if you could have like a open source search engine for your own website. And I know that you can go ahead and add like Google custom search whenever you have a site and you want to add some search to it. But Google custom search, it doesn't really feel comfortable. Like it's, it kind of feels like separate from your entire website. So I'm like, man, that crawler I was going to make a few weeks ago, that would have been really nice. So again, all this program is going to do in this video series is it's basically going to go through all the pages on your website and gather up all the links. So you can either use that for a sitemap or if you're making like a custom search engine, then you can go ahead and run some analytics on each page later on. But this is the core of a lot of programs. So that is my motivation. So let's go ahead and get started. And actually, before I do, that was a lie. We're not going to get started yet. I know that there are a couple... Um, modules already in Python. This is the first one I looked at, but this doesn't even have Python 3 support yet. I think it's in beta. And also this was a little different from what I was trying to do. And I know that beautiful soup does exist, but this is more of a parser. So in other words, once you have HTML, for example, it can like rip out the title and tell you what the title of the page is and you know, maybe the content and all the paragraphs and whatnot. But again, we need to start with the basics. We just need to go ahead and gather the links for your site before you can start running analytics on all the pages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up like we're gonna use this a bunch of times on a bunch of different websites. So let's say that I wanted to run this on my website and my friend's website and my uncle's. I would need to separate each of those into their own different projects or own, own different folders. So that's what we're gonna do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first add a way where you can type in something like the new Boston. How can I not type today? All right. So this is the name of the project. And then we can go ahead and give it the home page like this. Again, this isn't Python code. I'm just demonstrating how we're going to make it. So we'll say, all right, the project name is the new Boston and this is your home page. So then it's gonna go ahead and create a folder and store all the links in that folder and then they don't get all jumbled together. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, well, check this out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import OS. And this is just, I actually wanna kinda of keep that. I kinda of like that little thing. I don't know why. All right. So this is just gonna allow us to create uh, directories. So let me say that uh, each website you crawl is a, uh, separate project and again the project files for this it's not gonna be anything special a new folder equals a new project simple as that so we'll just call this function def create project directory and then we'll name it directory don't use the keyword dir because dir is already a built-in Python keyword so don't want to do that actually let me get rid of that after all all right so the cool thing about this program, the way I made it, is I'm gonna say, go ahead and start off by whenever we create a project for the first time, create that new folder for us and start crawling the website. Now, let's say that your computer shuts down, maybe, I don't know, your electrical failed or something, or you just need to put your computer to sleep or go home from work or something, you don't wanna go ahead and get rid of all that data. Let's say it was like 50% done crawling it, you actually wanna save that. So what I'm going to do is whenever you run this again, 
if that directory already exists, if that project already exists, we're not gonna go ahead and create it again. We're just gonna say, okay, only create this if it doesn't exist. So we'll say if not os.path.exist, and we'll say, this is the path right here. So again, the folder name is essentially just the path. Only then do we want to create a folder. So I'm just going to write a little prompt. So whenever they run this, the user knows what's going on. I'll say creating directory. And then I'll print out the name. So my project name is going to be the new Boston. So whenever I run this for the first time, it's going to say creating directory. Actually, let me say creating project. That'll be a little bit cooler, eh? And then how do we actually make it? Well, it's the easiest thing ever. OS make directories and you just pass in the directory name right there. So let me go ahead and run this right now. I'll show you guys what's going on. All right. So check this out. You see how this little directory doesn't have any folders or anything in it. It just has main py, the file I'm working on right now. So whenever I run this bit of code, what it's going to do is it's going to say, okay, creating project, the new Boston. And look at that. We now got a folder called the new Boston. Now let me go ahead and run this again. So say that we had some data in here. We're going to go ahead and run it again. You see how it didn't say creating project, the new Boston is because it already created it. So that way it doesn't overwrite all of our juicy files. And also one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this to general. Because this general file, I'm just going to have a lot of shared functions in here. And that main.py file, that's kind of going to be the starting point for our entire program. So I don't just don't want to pop these right in there. So again, that's how our project's going to be set up. That's what we're doing in this video series. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. I guess I'll smell you guys later.